Attention all filmmakers. You have short films or full features without a district. Come to www.fhffsd.org. That is the fantastic horror film festival. So hurry up. Submit now. Do you need key art poster for your horror project? Do you have a limited budget and about to hit the festival circuit? Are you looking for distribution and need visual art to help the process? Well, you're in luck. Go to www.posterlabworks.com and contact them for more information. They'll work with your budget and provide you some great key art. If you mention Gruesome Herzog when you contact them, they will include art for matching postcards and along with the poster. Contact them now. Curse of the Puppet Master in 1998. Four years ago, the puppets of Andre Tulin vanished without a trace. Now the puppets have found a new home, a new Puppet Master. Directed by David Ducate, written by Benjamin Carr. Here's the cast. George Peck as Dr. McGrew, the Puppet Master. Emily Harrison as Jane McGrew. Josh Green as Robert Tank Winsley. Michael Guerin as Joey Carp. Michael Sullenberger as Station Owner. Mark Newberger as Art Cooney. Scott Boyer as Larry. Jason Dean Boher as Pogo. And Robert Donovan as Sheriff Garby. And Jason Shane Scott as Deputy Weyburn. And the cast goes on. Here is the sixth installment of the Puppet Master franchise, and it'll be the last one that I review, obviously, into the, the newer ones that I have just did. Here is, takes place four years after Part 5. The puppets were lost, and they were found by Dr. McGrew. He is the new Puppet Master. He has a sinister plan that the puppets are forced to kill for him. Basically, he's trying to create a new puppet. And he has a daughter, and there's this boy called Tank, worked at a gas station. Well, he's good with his hands with wood. So, Dr. McGrew hires him to start making a puppet. So everything's going well, and then shit starts to happen. There's a missing person, a missing boy that was assisting the doctor and there's an investigation trying to find this boy. Then, of course, Tank is the new kid on the block. And him and his, him and the doctor's daughter are getting close. The doctor doesn't want that because, obviously, he has plans for his new assistant. So what happens is, basically, is right towards the end of the film, the puppets realize that this doctor is evil so they take matters into their own hands to put an end to it. That's basically what it's about. I mean, there's not much to it. It's not... It's a different story because it's mostly the puppets, you know, defending, you know, the family. And then all of a sudden, the puppets realize that this Dr. McGrew is up to no good. And they take care of him. So that's basically what it's about. I mean, it is what it is. I like it. It's different. But it is the final one until I... until. 2010, in my opinion. All the rest I'm out to this are just like nonsense. So there you go. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 6 out of 10. Not bad. You know, if you haven't seen it, check it out. This is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.